Pander. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Madam Secretary, welcome. Um, under our new Every Student Succeeds Act, replacing No Child Left Behind, every state submits a plan to you for approval in order to receive about $18 billion of federal funding for Titles I, II, and IV. I have some questions on that because it's been suggested by some, not me, that you're not following the law in approving those plans. How many state plans have been approved so far? Uh, 46 state plans. Do you believe it's a requirement of the law that states collect, report, and use data on the performance of all students and each subgroup of students? Yes, indeed. Do all the state plans that you've approved thus far propose to look at data from, quote, all students and, quote, each subgroup of students? They do, yes. Do you believe it's a requirement of the law that states identify schools with, quote, consistently underperforming subgroups? Yes, do all of the state plans that you've approved thus far propose to identify schools with, quote, consistently underperforming subgroups? Yes, indeed. After the passage of the Every Student Succeeds Act, Secretary Duncan reportedly said, quote, candidly, our lawyers at the Department of Education are much smarter than many of the folks who are working on this bill, unquote. Are any of those smart lawyers still at your department? Indeed, they are, probably most of them. Do those smart lawyers at the department agree that the plans that you've approved meet all the requirements of the law? They do. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Now, let me ask you this. It seems we've had a lot of discussion in our authorizing committee about trying to make it simpler for students to apply for mm -hmm. and pay back where, pro where they need to their federal student aid, $100 billion in loans each year, 30 or so billion in Pell Grants. It seems to me that applying for federal aid for college should be as simple as buying a plane ticket on your phone or, a book, or buying a book with one click. I mean, this has been invented, and we use it for all sorts of things. Now, you have asked for $50 million in the budget in order to modernize the system by which students apply for and pay back their federal financial aid. What can you tell us about that? How do you plan to spend the money? And why do you think you'll be successful doing this when we were so unsuccessful uh, in technology when we dealt with the Obamacare exchanges, which turned into a big mess? Thanks, Senator, for that question. I'm, I'm really excited about the um, effort to modernize federal student aid, both the process and the experience. Um, we believe that students should have a world-class experience when applying for and then uh, subsequently paying down their student loans. And the framework and infrastructure for this has not been modernized and has not been, it, it's been sort of patched over the last 20 some years. And so our, our approach is to completely restructure and make that experience one that will be seamless for students, one that uh, we can complete the uh, federal student aid application on your smartphone and, uh, again, have a, the world-class experience that we've come to expect in every other area of life. The confidence I have in, in being able to do that is that we have the right leadership in place to be able to ensure that... Uh, now, who, uh, who is that? Why do you think that? Well, uh, we have Dr. Wayne Johnson, who comes from the financial services field with much experience and lots of entrepreneurial activity in that field. In fact, um, has he ever done anything like this before? He has indeed. Um, some of you may recall years ago, you, we, when you got new credit cards in the mail, they'd come without uh, an activation code because... That was just how it was done. And uh, strangely enough, many of those cards disappeared in the process of getting from uh, the origination point to your mailbox. Well, he developed the 1-800 number that now, I mean, now we just call or just go online to activate. But the 800 number was his uh, invention, and it became ubiquitous across the financial services industry. So very forward thinking um, and a very deep knowledge of that field and that process and that experience. So we are, we are committed to having the first steps completed um, by, for a pilot test in July of this year. And uh, we'll be able to, in the fall, hopefully by October 1st, 
have the full thing being able to roll out so that student aid applications for the next fiscal or the next school year will be able to be completed online and in one sitting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Alexander. Senator Shaheen. Uh, 